welcome back to We Talk Cricket. We are here to talk about match 16 of the Under-19 Cricket World Cup. And it was a match, and then again, it wasn't a match. I know you're wondering, like, what, what do you mean, what do you mean? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. We had Australia batter first make it 296 for 7. A very, very good total, just four short of that 200. Hey, anything above 250, 275 is a really good total in 50 over cricket. But what, just what a total for them to set. We did have Harry Dixon, top scorer with 18-9 for the Australians, found this 11 short of that century. Got, got led into a false stroke, and sadly, that was the end of him. He did receive some good support from Hugh Wayman, or Wagen, who scored 68 in good support, just helping him along the way. And also, Tom Campbell, whose photo I just could not find. But make it 47 out of as Australia piled on the runs on the poor Zimbabwean bowlers. Bowling for Zimbabwe, we did have Brandon Sungoro, Ryan Simbi, and Matthew Skoken all picking up two wickets each as they tried their best to just stem the flow of runs. But unfortunately, the Australian batters were really, really good. A good pro for them is that they were able to pick the gaps and just like, they did it really well. Like, they did not miss out on short pitch or full deliveries. They capitalized. And when they capitalized, they got the gaps. Like, almost 90% of the times, they got the gaps, which led to many, many runs being scored. Just saying, it's a good pro to have. I didn't really find a con. Like, when you're looking for quick runs in the end, you will lose wickets. It's, it's, it's acceptable. The one con for Zimbabwe is that they were not able to stem the flow of runs. Yeah, they were able to pick up little wickets during intervals here and there, but they still weren't able to stem the runs and, you know, break the big partnership between Wagen and Dixon, which was needed, all right? Really wish they had done that because that would have turned that match around on its head. Now, now, Zimbabwe comes out to match. And, it, and, and that the first part is where I, that's the match. And then the not part, not a match, is the second part, where Zimbabwe got bundled out for 71 all out, giving Australia a victory by 225 runs. <sighs> yeah. Remember what I talked about lack of footwork? Evident here again in this game. So evident in this game. Footwork, 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 the basic one of the basic fundamentals, especially for a batter. <sighs> is not being used properly. And batting coaches, batting coaches, please talk to your batters. Get them up to par because they need that footwork. They need it, all right? Only one person passed 30, and that was Renak Patel, who made 36. But besides that, no one else made anything of any contribution. Trust me, I've been there. I've been, I've been on a team that got bowled out for a little score before, and I, it's not a good feeling. It's not a good feeling at all, all right? Bowling for Australia, we did have Harakirat Bajwa picking up 4 for 50. I think it was his first match he played in. 4 for 50, leading the charge for the Australian bowlers. He did receive some good support from Mali Beardman and Aidan O'Connor, who both picked up 2 wickets. The good thing about the Australian team is that they've been studying these pitches. They've been looking at them. They've been picking the best bowlers and the best... I say best bowlers to really go with the pitch or the wickets. Like, just wise, wise captaincy and wise, wise, wise team choice per match so far from the Australians. So well done to you. Like I said before, footwork for Zimbabwe would really get them. I mean, a little bit of aggression will go far, but you know, it's still cricket. It's still a game about being patient and being strategic. So just some stuff to work on. But anyway, let us know going forward what do you think is going to happen. Can Australia continue to climb upwards and eventually be in the Super Six and eventually also semi-final and final? And will Zimbabwe make it at least out of the group stages? Because hey, you know we're going to have to talk about it. Where else, everyone? But right here on We Talk Cricket. And I'll catch you next time so we can talk some more. Later.